How to turn $1,500 into over $4,000 worth of cards. I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys some of these cards that I um, have. Uh, I had two PSA subs come back. Um, some of these right here are ones that I sent in for PC. And these ones were the ones that I sent in. So um, just the bottom two of these were part of that $1,500 into $4,000. And then the rest of these just kind of were more or less PC stuff that I had um, going on. So let's go ahead, uh, get into this, and I'll show you guys. This will be kind of like a PSA reveal and um, numbers that I ran for, um, or what I, I guess I looked at these numbers after they came back to, I guess, come up with the title of the, um, the video. So the first one, we'll start from the back here, is a Tom Brady, part of the Tom Brady collection. And it got a 10. So it's a 2018 select silver. Um, and right here I got numbers down on the bottom left hand corner. This is 52 about. I then I took an average of the last like five sold. Um, so that is what I, you know, the, the average that I got, the num average number that I got for them. And then the lower number is going to be the number that it sells for raw. So um, right here would have been, you know, an easy, what, $32 on that one to get it graded. Once again, that's if it got a 10, that's a you know pretty low. Um, next is a Tom Brady rookie, Paramount. This got a PSA 8, so averaged about 138 bucks, and then a raw is $100. So as you guys can see, with the Tom Brady rookie, didn't do as great there. Um, so you know definitely something to look at when you're grading. Look at them, run run your numbers better for that Brady. I just ran it because it was part of a. Uh, more or less part of a PC for me, so I decided I needed to send it. Next, we have a Optic Downtown, a Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry Downtown, I bought this one pretty much just to flip. Bought it raw. Um, I have 180 that's kind of what they're going for now. And in a PSA 10, this is going for 333 bucks, and that was also the average. So it kind of gives me an idea if I go to sell the card, you know, kind of what to run it at. Just a, just a, I'm, I'm average medium number there, so... PSA 10 there. Next we have Peyton Manning Rookie. So Peyton Manning Rookie came back a PSA 9. So this one came back as a 9. Once again, PSA 9 is 44 bucks, and in a raw, they go around for 20 bucks. Once again, these are just kind of average-ish numbers. So still not the best. Uh, once you know, once you take off your pretty much your $20 for your grading and you're breaking even. So um, something to watch out for. But if this got a 10, this would have been awesome. And yeah, would have been cool, but uh, not all of them. Not all of them get tens. So next we have another one. So here is another one that I was really kind of experimenting with. There was um, some of these that had uh, the coating on it. As you guys could see, this one also had coating on it, but that coating was destroyed. Um, so that one got peeled off, and we sent it. It got a nine. This one, the coating looked a lot better. This got sent in, and this got a PSA six. Only thing that I noticed was just like a pretty much like a bent lifted area down here on the coating. Kind of hard to see it on the video. And just in general, this video does seem to be like out of focus, like it's struggling a little bit. But that looks like it's in focus well. <laughs> so, anyways, so we got a PSA 6 on this. I'm thinking about cracking this and probably peeling this and then resubmitting to try to get a 9 or a 10. But if it's going to be getting a 9, probably not even worth sending at that point. So. Uh, once again, got to run numbers. Next, we have another um, a uh, 98 Bowman's Best. Tom Brady, a PSA 9. Or not Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, PSA 9. Um, $30 for a 9 and $10 for a raw. So, didn't really do my numbers when I was sending a lot of these out. What had happened was I got a um, big collection with thousands and thousands of cards. And I found a binder. And in the binder, I had a bunch of you know, 98, 99 rookies. And I was like, hey, there's some Hall of Famers in these years. So I started looking, pulled them out, and I was like, oh, I'll submit these. I'll look for the better cards and sent them out. That's why I'm getting, you know, a $10 raw card that came back as a 9, and it's only worth $30. Uh, $30. So next, we got a Charles Woodson, and this one came back a PSA 10, so that is nice. So a $10 card went it turned into a $130 card, so a PSA 10, um, once again, $130, bucks, and that was kind of the average, or there might have been a few to go off of, but um, $130 out of a $10 card is kind of a big come up and that's kind of the big you know the big plus side of doing something like this is if you hit if you hit a 10 then you are doing well so next we have a Brock Pretty Donner, Donner's Optic Purple Shock and that hit as a 10 
Uh, this was about a $35 card raw and then $150 in a PSA 10 grade. And with the season coming up, uh, I'm going to try to possibly get a lot of these pushed out and just kind of, you know, recoup some of the money and probably put it into uh, more Brady rookies. So I might be looking at more Brady rookies. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these, go ahead and hit me, you know, hit me up, send me a message, let me know. And we can, you know, if you have Brady rookies you want to trade for, I'd be interested in trading. Or if you're looking just to buy some of these, I would definitely sell some. Um, next, we have another uh, Charles Woodson rookie, Skybox Thunder. Um, this one, you know, once again, looked cool, looked clean. I, there was like three or four of these Woodsons. So I did pull out the best one. It's a $3 card at PSA 8. It's a, you know, it's 15 bucks. It's pretty much worth what it costs to grade, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but definitely not worth cracking it. I'll just sell it. Somebody could have an 8, and that way they know it's an 8. But kind of unfortunate there. I don't know what I missed. Apparently, I did miss something because it got an 8, not even a 9. So I did pick out the best one and sent it. Um, here is a Manning as well. And this Manning got a 9. Once again, this was the better Manning that I had the best Manning in this um, in the Thunder. And about 30 bucks for Raw and 10 for or 10 in Raw and, and uh, 29 in a PSA 9. So definitely kind of rough there. Once again, you're getting enough, you know, some to cover up pretty much your grading. So the 9s are more or less a break-even point. Next, we have a Tom Brady part of the PC that I sent, and that came back as a PSA 10. So PSA 10, 2014 Tops Chrome, Tom Brady, 126 bucks in a 10, and that was the average I took from some numbers, and then 25 bucks raw. So um, there you have it, nice, nice little come up on the 10. Came out of the PC. Next, we have some chain mail. So we got a 2017 uh, chain mail armor panini, and then I, I don't remember where these came from. Uh, if it was like a Father's Day thing that they were having, just like random packs. Um, doesn't say anything on the back there. But just a chain mail. Looked around really, really hard to find a number on this. Even, you know, PSA 9. I couldn't even find a raw on that, so that was kind of a bummer. Looked around. Um, there were some different variations of this kind of armor series, but nothing in chain mail. So don't even have a raw number to go off of. Next, we have another Tom Brady uh, 2017 Prism. It's going to be a Prism Silver. And this Prism Silver, $161 for a 10 and then $25 for a raw card. So it's definitely a nice come up. Um, some of this um, colored Brady stuff does sell for a bit higher, but a lot of the stuff has already been graded. And the stuff that's kind of floating around on eBay and, you know, other selling platforms are just pretty much going to be 9s, 8s, stuff that grades lower than a 10. But this one did come out of my PC, um, making my first, you know, I guess it would be the second grading that I did. Um, next, we have a Randy Moss, pretty much rookie card, Randy Moss. So it's a 1998 Bowman's Best. And then there's just a Jerry Rice, Randy Moss card. This came back as a 9, but crazy enough, that 9 was $125. Looked really clean. Um, I did like it when I was looking over it. It looked really nice. Sent it. Something was missing. I know with these die cuts, the edges are really tough to get good grades on them, get perfect grading on them. So PSA 9, still $125. For a PS in a PSA 9 grade and $30 in a raw grade. So a Jerry Rice Randy Moss card kind of hits big on that right there. Next, we have another Peyton Manning rookie. This is a 98 Skybox. Um, once again, a PSA 9. Um, and I had several of these, and I did pull out the best looking one. Um, sent it thinking, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll try it. And at the time, I think there was a promotion for um, PSA subs for like $14 or something like that. But still, after you pay on, you know, um, the shipping and, and other fees and um, for them to send back and stuff like that. Um, it kind of pretty much racks it up and, and gets up there unless you're sending hundreds of cards, which I did not do. But uh, PSA 9, 44 bucks, and then a raw would have been 20 bucks. Next, we have a Randy Moss. Once again, this is going to be that Thunder, tough to grade. Once again, another 8. So Randy Moss, 8. Rough. Once again, pretty rough, rough to grade these cards, but if you get a 10, it's definitely worth sending. You know, raw, a $3 card raw and then 13 bucks in a PSA 8. And some of these might even be estimates or whatever. Or me just trying to feel better for myself so I can try to sell for 13 bucks and um, go from there. So the next we got a Tom Brady card. Tom Brady, PSA 10, 2013 Tops Chrome. The white jersey refractor, it's like a little silver there. And uh, PSA 10, 142 bucks. And then a raw was about 30 bucks. So that was definitely a cool... Um, from the PC went out and that one that one uh, hit home next we have a Tom Brady 
2014. This is going to be a red, red prism PSA 8. When I was sending it, um, I knew the centering was off. Um, I was thinking maybe a 9, but came back an 8. was kind of a bummer. Um, there was no graded cards. There was a raw that sold for 93 bucks. Um, so might throw this up there, hundred bucks, and just kind of field offers. See, see how that one goes. Um, next we have a Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning in a ten. So a ninety-eight Bowman Manning, fifteen dollars raw, and one hundred sixty-seven bucks. That was the average for a ten. So that one was definitely a nice little uh, come up, help pay for some of this sub. Net another, we got another Peyton Manning. Once again, another 10, Bowman's Best, $15 raw card, and $130 in a 10. So you guys can see some of these that were 9s were like, you know, 15, 20 bucks. Not as desired, not as sought after, but this hits a, you know, you get a 10 on it, and all of a sudden you got a $100 plus dollar card. So that is pretty cool. That is um, a good chunk of, you know, I'd probably say around $2,000 of where the little come up parts came into play. Um, so I'll get that out of the way. I will share. So these two were part of that other order. They just came in a separate box. These ones were part of a, you know, little, I guess a 1.5, um, for my subs. This is what this big one was the second one. There's, I did a first one and then in between was just kind of got some PC stuff that I sent out with, with a buddy. So starting kind of the back end, we got a 2000 press pass Tom Brady um, raw, I think there were like 50, 60 bucks. So this one was pretty much a wash, if not a loss. Came back a six. A lot of these came back sixes. I looked over them fairly well. I was thinking, you know, nines, eights, nines. And uh, once I got them back, I did notice that there was stuff like soft corners and even damaged corners on some of these cards, which is kind of rough. I figured PSA would kind of take care of this, you know, take care of your stuff and not give you damaged stuff back. But was unfortunate, you know, like even this one. Came back a six as well. And I was looking over them. And on, and on this one, I was able to see that that corner is definitely lifted up and is damaged. They were not damaged when I sent them out. And I feel bad. I wish I would have made a video um, before I sent them out like I did with the first one. And I did not. And these came back sixes. And I was thinking at least, you know, sevens, eights, or uh, eights, possibly nines. But damaged corners. You could see that one's pretty damaged for sure. And just, just a bummer. And I don't know if that was... Um, the guy that I was submitting through or possibly someone at PSA dropped them and they got damaged. So definitely a bummer. Um, 49 bucks in a PSA 6 and 50 bucks in a raw or about 50 bucks in a raw. Another Tom Brady rookie, 2000 Pacific, came back a 7. Uh, raw, they're about 70 bucks and a PSA 7, 85 bucks. Once again, not really a, a come up, but um, this one also had some damaged corner or some corner issues that I had noticed um, when, after it came back. So that was unfortunate. Would have been nice to get higher grade Brady's, but if they get damaged, they get damaged. Next, we got a Sam Howell. This was that teal velocity, came out of the blasters. Um, I thought I was going to do all right, sent it out, looked decent, and I got it back, um, and it came back in eight. So I started looking at it. Centering was definitely one of the issues that I knew about sending it out. Was hoping for for a nine, but then I did notice there's a print line going pretty much through the back. But it's not. It's interesting because it's in like the back portion where like the lasers are, and it doesn't go in front of his body. So I figured that was part of the design, and uh, I guess I was wrong there. So a PSA eight on that one, kind of a bummer. Would have been cool to get a nine or a ten. Would have been big. So next here we have a Tom Brady 2022. This can be a gold sparkle, I believe it's called. And right on the back, I knew that it had damage. I knew that it had print lines on the back. Figured I'd send it in, get lucky with a 10, but I did not. Um, and they gave me a 9. So I figured it was a 9, but nonetheless, about... And then once again, these $300 and 250 were just numbers that I wrote because I did not, um, I did not find any of these gold sparkles in a PSA 9 grade or graded for that matter. So there's that one. Next, we got a Blazers Desmond Ritter. Uh, another one was a case hit. One that I pulled, and I was thinking, hey, this is going to be a 10. Looked great. Looked awesome. Looked it over. Didn't see any kind of surface issues. And, I, you know, centering looked decent. Sent it out. Got it back a 9. So, kind of a kind of a little bum there. Next, we got a Brady rookie. Rookie Brady. 2000 uh, Fleer. 
came back as a nine um, one thirty one. So for the blaze for the blazer sixty five bucks in the nine grade and about forty dollars in the raw grade. So a little bit of a come up, but once again after you t factor in shipping and stuff, nine is kind of a wash. So here is nine um, with a little bit of a come up, sixty dollars raw for these cards and about one thirty averaged out um, for a PSA nine in a PSA nine grade. So I was happy with that. It was nice to get that. Um, I'm working on all, all. I'm gonna try to get kind of one of each of the um, Tom Brady, I guess, base rookies, if you want to call it that. Um, so that was kind of where that guy's going to be going. Um, and if I get duplicates or higher grades, I will sell off the lower one and um, look at buying something else in the higher grade. Next, we got a Kenny Pickett PSA 10 2020 Mosaic. We get Reactive Orange. Um, was a nice pull. Raw, about $15. And in a PSA 10, about 70 bucks. So did all right there but this was once again like 1.5 so you know psa sub 1.5 wasn't part of this 2.0 submission so um was nice to get one 10 out of this lot but you know nonetheless they had some kind of promotion so my buddy kept kind of hitting me up like hey let's go let's get a sub in let's get something in together and um that's where some of these kind of came out and got sent in so um next we have a um joe montana this was part of the other sub um, rookie Joe Montana rookie 1981 tops Joe Montana came back at a seven uh, I remember I was at a card show um, and I was talking with a guy like hey I'm looking to get my first sub put together so I've had this card for a little while and I ended up trading the guy a um, 2020 prism blaster box for this and right around that time it was about a hundred dollars 120 I think was what that blaster was worth I traded it out for this Joe Montana rookie had it raw Traded it, sent it in, and a PSA 7 goes for about 185 bucks. So that was pretty cool. Nice to get at least a 7. I was hoping for an 8, but um, the bottom had some fraying edges were kind of frayed and a um, little bit of centering issues. Um, overall, you know, you can see a little bit centering top, bottom, and then side to side on the back. The front looked fairly centered, but then they had fraying on the bottom. So PSA 7, you know, not going to complain too much. Um, but the big, um, the big hitter is going to be this guy right here, this Brock Purdy. Um, this is one that I pulled out of a blaster, sent it in um, on a, I think it was a, like a fifty dollar submission, forty fifty dollar submission. Try to get it back a little sooner, and boom, they sent an email and they said, hey, you uh, owe us some money. We're going to upcharge you, and I was fine with that. With a PSA ten, I did look over this. I thought would be getting a nine, a ten it was kind of the. On the plus side, if I got a 10, then that was great. And I did get a 10 uh, raw, about $800 card. At the time when I pulled it, it was around, around $1,000. Um, and then a PSA 10 is about $1,800 was what it averaged out to. Um, so that was definitely a plus there too. So um, with the season starting up, we'll see what the Niners are doing. Um, would be nice to uh, possibly get this guy sold. Um, but we'll see. I'm still kind of debating, maybe wait out, see what happens in the playoffs but a PSA 10 downtown Brock Purdy and once again from 800 to 1800 and then when I when I was sending them out they were going for I would say closer to two thousand dollars for a PSA 10 so the price dropped a little bit since then but overall um, not too shabby that's kind of how I went with from fifteen hundred dollars to um, to a you know four thousand dollar four thousand dollar um turn turnaround if you want to call it that this card was definitely a big big factor kind of helped bump that so um once again i would be if anybody's interested in trading i would look for um i would trade for uh brady rookies or any football hall of famer patch autos um you know some of the numbered stuff would be better multicolor patch autos would be sweet any hall of famers patch auto so if you guys are interested let me know um and I might be doing some Facebook sales here in the future sometime when I get a free minute. But up until then, this is what I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for enjoying it. If you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.